everyone. Today we have something a little bit different. We're not reviewing anything. We're going to be doing a test, a penetration test on um, some modern rifle and shotgun rounds to see how they penetrate through trees. The reason we picked trees for today's test is that a lot of you may know, for those of you that are prior military, if you're out there training in the field doing your battle drills, you, know, you guys probably have been told a million times, get down, get cover. Where do you get cover? You generally get it behind a tree. So we're going to see just how effective that, that tree is for providing you cover from the different various animals that you might see out there on the battlefield. There you see the rounds we're using in today's test. Moving left to right, we have the uh, Federal Tactical Rifled Slug. Next up is the 7.62 by 5.4 R round. That is the 147 grain variety. Um, up next will be the 124 grain Golden Tiger 7.62 by 3.9 round. Then we have a 62 grain Wolf 223 round. And finally the 7 and 6 round, uh, which I believe is 53 grain of the 5.45 by 3.9 variety. This is the tree we've selected today. Just take a quick measurement of it. Go ahead, wrap that around. It is 36 inches around. Obviously it's gonna be a little more on the bottom. Up first, we've got the AK-74 loaded up with the uh, surplus seven and six rounds. See what it does. There you see the three entry holes. And out the back we have no penetration whatsoever. Next up we have 62 grain Wolf 223 out of a 16 inch AR-15 barrel. Let's see what we can do. Let me aim it a little bit higher on this one. There you see the entry holes are just a little bit above where the uh, 7N6 hit. All three of them pretty nicely together. Out the back, again we have no penetration. Next on deck we have the uh, Golden Tiger 7.62 by 3.9 round. We'll step back, see what it does. There you see the three entry points. There you go, we at least had one penetrate. And it looks like it was tumbling as it went through. Let's take a look at the target. And there's the cardboard. You can see maybe, maybe that's a bullet wound if it was tumbling through. The rest of them are definitely shrapnel or, if you will, tree bark. You can see right there. Next up, we got a big boy here. It is the uh, M44 firing the 7.62 by 5.4 round. Today I'm using the Bulgarian surplus 147 grain ammo. Put a few rounds through and see what it does on that tree. Well, there's the point of entry on the tree. Again, we're working bottom up, so those top entry points are the ones from the 7.62 by 5.4 R rounds. There's the back side of the tree. You can see they definitely, uh, definitely all came through. One tumbling through there, maybe two there. And that cardboard's getting a little messier. You can see here, it looks like we absolutely had a bullet tumbling through. Some more fragments of the tree coming through. And that's about it. But we definitely had two pass through for sure. I'm gonna have to look at the video and see, uh, see how many actually came through. Last but not least here, 18 inch Remington 870. We're going to go ahead and run those uh, slugs that you saw earlier in the video through. See if those penetrate this tree. Those slugs certainly made an impression on the tree going in. Let's check out the back side. No additional holes in the back, so it looks like those slugs all stayed in that tree. And no additional marks here on the uh, cardboard as expected. Well, I can't say I'm totally surprised by the results. I had a pretty good idea that 7.62 by 5.4 round was going to be a uh, nasty little penetrator. It's a very, very powerful round that I've, I've discussed it in the past here on the channel. Um, I was surprised, though, a little bit that the 7N6 didn't penetrate all that well. I realize most of you guys who watch my channel also watch the Military Arms Channel, and he conducted a test recently uh, up in the frozen Indiana woods where he was shooting 7N6, and it penetrated very, very well through, through the trees. That's what actually inspired this video here um, to see how it would do in warmer weather. Today it's about 80 degrees down in South Carolina we're out there shooting, so I really expected the 7N6 to penetrate really well as well, but it didn't, as you saw out there, so I guess you just never really know what you're going to get out of uh, terminal ballistics in terms of what cover is and what concealment is. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the test. I hope you guys uh, learned something today. Maybe uh, it'll provoke some thought and testing of your own, but as always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and we'll see you guys in the next video.